right, so it's time for the construction update. And I know a couple of you have been waiting a long time for this specific one uh, due to the amount of teasing I've done online. So I apologize if some of you are super upset with me right now. Um, it took a little longer to get this video than expected. I was waiting on Ohio Thrills from Instagram and YouTube to grab me some shots of Val Raven's bolts. Um, for some specific reasons for my own um, kind of knowledge and uh, me piecing together what's going on with this coaster. Um, but lots of work going on today, um, so I wasn't expecting that either. I mean, I, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're extremely dead on the construction site. Um, but it's good to see they're finally, so they're digging up all that concrete um, just next to Mindbuster. They have three footers dug for the um, turnout of the station into the pre-lift, and they are digging the pre-lift even more. It is extremely wide. It's almost as wide as the tunnel itself. And then they were setting up um, the uh, wood panels to pour the cement in soon. So that should be happening any day. They were also ripping up wires and water pipes and stuff like that because we know that uh, the old water system for Splashworks, a bit of it came from the Skyriders plot of land that was shut off last week. And it looks like they're ripping up some pipes, um, whether that be electrical or water pipes, they were ripping stuff up. Um, but yeah, super exciting. So um, I do have a feeling that cement might be poured later on this week or early next week. Who knows? It look, they're already getting ready to pour cement and I left at around 2.30. So who knows? Maybe all that wood foundation is in by the time I go tomorrow. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they have the orange tarps for the cement to dry as well right there, ready to go. So I mean, cement's probably going to get poured this week, um, which is super exciting because I heard that once the cement is poured for that pre-lift, about 28 days later is when you might expect to see some sort of track arriving and vertical construction starting, which falls along um, a little earlier than expected. Um, I was expecting track and all that to arrive late July. Um, so we'll see what happens. But yes, lots of work going on. So um, it looks like the electrical is mostly done and um, completed. And now they're ripping out old electrical. They're digging the footers out of the station. Um, and uh, getting ready for that pre-lift. So it was cool to see how they do the um, foundation for the pre-lift and the tunnel. So I got to see that up close here. So they set up a bunch of wood um, and then they kind of like hold the wood in place in sort of like a foundation, like square format. And then they'll pour the cement in between the wood panels and have it dry. Um, and you're gonna see um, from some of the blueprints, again, I'm not showing blueprints that reveal anything about the coaster. So the blueprints I'm gonna show you guys are gonna be kind of showing what's gonna be built in that location. Um, I won't show anything that reveals what the coaster is, um, what kind of coaster it is, um, how tall, any facts like that I won't show or reveal just for the parks requests um, and to ensure that, you know, we're not doing anything that might upset the park. We want the park to have a teasing campaign. We want them to have fun with, you know, the general public and even us. And I don't want to take that away from the park. I want to um, make this as fun as possible. And, uh, you know, me and the team talked and we, d we think it would be better if we all went through this um, through the proper way of a teasing campaign. There's nothing more fun about a new coaster than the teasing campaign itself. And it is way too early to spoil anything. So we are not going to show anything that reveals anything of that nature. So if you're watching this video, don't think that uh, the coaster is going to be revealed from this video. Um, I won't do that, nor will I ever do that unless it's closer to the announcement of the coaster. You know, before the coaster gets announced, I might show what we've known or what we're going to know and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I still want to make these exciting videos and I'm going to continue to make these exciting videos. Um, and uh, I mean, who, like, these videos in themselves have become the teasing campaign for now until the park starts. So hopefully you guys still enjoy watching. And um, yeah, so but there, there are some pretty cool blueprints shown at the end that don't reveal much at all. Um, about what kind of coaster this is, but still reveal a little bit. So I now know where the queue line starts. I now know where the pre-lift is. I know what the pre-lift bolt structure looks like, and you guys will too. Um, so UCC Group, Builders of Dreamscapes, a really great company. You gotta go look them up on um, Google. They've done a lot of large projects, and I'm excited to see what they're doing with the station and the pre-lift. They are working on the station and the pre-lift, and Rutherford Contracting does the footers. So they are not here for the footers. Um, 
I'm interested to see what they are here for. I want to see what kind of structures they are here to build. I want to see what kind of like, you know, landscapes they're going to build like and, and they do like concrete landscapes. They don't do like um, trees and all that. So they're here for like a much bigger project. So I'm excited to see what they have in store for this coaster. I'm expecting something big. I'm really hoping for a Dollywood Wild Eagle type of station. Um, and I'm really hoping we get to see that. So as you can see here, they're getting the wood foundation in. This was around probably 12 p.m. That's when they started to get the wood foundation set up, cut out. And this is when about, about the time that the blueprints started to come out. So here you can see them getting ready. This is one side. It's a pretty big square footer and then it angles upwards for the support to connect to, which you'll see in the blueprint. Um, a lot of BNM coasters use the same kind of style of footer now. So this doesn't say it's a dive coaster, it doesn't say it's a wing coaster, it doesn't say it's a sit down coaster. It could be anything. Um, most BNMs use that now. It takes away from needing a ton of supports on the lift structure and it's really cool and it looks gorgeous. So when you see that, you'll be able to see that it, it, it is about eight or nine bolts. Ours, ours is um, eight bolts. And uh, Val Ravens, I believe, was uh, seven or six. It's between six and nine, and ours is eight or nine, something like that. So it's it's difficult to tell, um, but you guys will see. So as you can see, this is when the um, the blueprints came out, and then uh, I didn't clue in. Obviously, here you can see me filming other things, and then I clued in. So there you can see the pre-lift um, support beam there. So and it connects to the structure that's going to be there. So it is eight bolts, I believe, in there. Yes, it is eight bolts. Um, and Val Ravens is six, seven, or eight, one of the three. Um, it's hard to tell from pictures, but I have a picture zoomed in of Val Ravens at the end of the video provided by Ohio Thrills. So definitely go subscribe to him on YouTube. Thank you for doing that for me, very last minute. Um, and then it also, some of the blueprints show you where the queue line starts. Um, so it looks like it's gonna start right next to that new path or connect right where that sign is that say, says, we are preparing for your future enjoyment and the queue line will be right next to the station, similar to that of Val Raven, which is super cool. Um, but yes, these blueprints don't reveal any facts. I watched them 10 times over to make sure there wasn't anything I was leaking by accident. Um, just some simple facts. I just wanted like to leak just enough because I, I want these videos to be kind of like teasing in themselves. So hopefully I'm not pissing any of you off. Um, again, this is for the park relationship and our channel's relationship. And then also even taking that out of the equation, I don't want to ruin the teasing campaign for anyone. Um, but yeah, so, um, hopefully you guys, um, can see the pre-lift the way I do. So it's angled up and it goes up the same way that we originally, um, thought. So it angles up towards the tunnel in a slight angle. And the lift hill ends exactly where I thought it would end. So th this does kind of suggest that we are looking at a very tall coaster. Let's say it's a dive coaster. We're looking at a very tall dive coaster or we're looking at a very average wing coaster, um, whatever it ends up being. And um, it turns towards the tunnel. It looks like maybe somewhere to Phoenix um, at Toverland or somewhere to what you see on dive coasters. Um, and then it drops into the tunnel, does its simple inversions. It looks like a zero G roll over vortex based off of what I'm seeing footer wise. Um, but uh, just so you guys know, I don't know the layout. So the blueprints I saw don't show a layout of any sort. So I'm not here. I'm not going to sit here pretending like I know anything like that. Um, so I'm trying to think of what else they were doing today. Oh, so if you watched my update from the weekend, I pointed out that there was a lot of weird bricks, broken bricks and all that near Splashworks that I was surprised they didn't repair. Well, it turns out they're doing that today. So they're repairing the brickwork and uh, a lot of paintwork going on in Splashworks. They looked like they were repainting the wave pool. Um, they were repainting water slides and all that. So Splashworks is getting a ton of money funneled into it. Um, which is a quite the shock. So um, <laughs> if you look at that, um, I don't know if you get a good angle. It, it definitely shows a bit more of like the area and like what they're building for the pre-lift. Um, comment down below what you guys think. Do you think this is going to be a wing coaster? Do you think this is going to be a dive coaster? Or are we looking at something unique from BNM? I honestly want to hear from you guys. So wing coaster dive coaster or something unique comment down below what you guys honestly think is coming to canada's wonderland in 2019 who knows this could be anything at this point um 
Uh, again, so UCC Group, definitely working on a lot of the projects now with the station and a lot of the footers done in this area. Construction is not going to continue on the north side of the construction site, so near Timberwolf. That area is completely fenced off and incapable of having vehicles go in um, as they installed a pretty semi-permanent fence. And um, just, uh, I have a feeling they're gonna get this area done so they can start theming and vertical construction because this is the biggest area to do with electrical and all that. So they'll get that done. Um, and I'm expecting sometime in July, we'll see some sort of vertical construction of the station, um, transfer track, whatever they start with, brake run. Um, so as you saw there, that was the um, queue line that we were looking at in that shot there. I didn't want to show too much of it. Um, and all that. So here's a close up of the uh, pre lift. So that's the main support beam for the the track. So again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts. Val Ravens, I believe, is six or seven according to the picture, which you'll see in a second. But we'll double check that just to be sure. Um, so again, we have a lot of uh, interesting facts with this coaster coming out. So if it's a dive coaster, you know I like comparing it to Val Raven. Our bolt structure at the bottom of the drop is one bolt more than that to Val Raven. Um, so here it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven um, bolts. It could be eight bolts, but it looks like it's crossed over the halfway point, essentially. Um, I think there's actually a closer up image at the end of it. So I think it is seven bolts um, wide. Um, it wouldn't get quite a good shot from the queue line. We tried. But yeah, definitely comment down below what you guys think this is going to be. Again, wing coaster, dive coaster, or sit-down coaster. And do you think it's going to be bigger or larger than Val Raven? Whether that be length, height, whatever it ends up being. Do you honestly think we're going to break the record? Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Head on over to our Patreon. A dollar um, for exclusive access to content helps in any way or form. Um, so definitely um, help me out there if you can. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys continue to enjoy these updates. It looks like construction is going to pick up and it's going to get a, a lot more uh, crazy and vertical construction is going to start. So that's going to be awesome. But yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.